Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Star Enterprise after I think a month or so. So, Steve Bai is here. I am going to do very quick take on 12 fragrances. Uh, I have few female fragrances and few male. Okay, so first of all, Steve Bai, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What thank about you? you? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Okay. Thank you so much for giving me time because it's business hour. Customers gonna come in and go. So, if there's interruption, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry to Steve Bai. No I'm problem, no time. problem. So, I want to show you some uncommon and one brand new fragrance, but uh, I have been reviewed it, so I'm gonna do it one by one. So let's start from ladies' side without wasting much time. First one I'm gonna show you is called 212 by Carolina Herrera. So this is very beautiful fragrance uh, for women, okay? This is a fresh summer fragrance. I have shown you the men one. I think I like this over the women's uh, men's one. They come in like this cute little bulb sort of a, a presentation, okay? So this one um, is fresh, okay? It's very fresh, floral, aquatic, kind of like a female counterpart of uh, aqua digio, that sort of a smell. Very fresh, very uplifting, and very peaceful kind of product. Okay, and for the bottle, it's really worth it. I think the price is somewhere in the mid range, but it's worth getting it. Even men can use it. All right, so two one two for women. Kept by Carolina Herrera. Next one, it's going to be from. Uh, I think this is called uh, Akora One. If you know one million, this is Lady Million, but Lady Millions. A flanker. It's called Oh My Oh. It's a taller bottle I've seen. So this fragrance is not as sweet. This is more fresh, a little bit more uh, easy going than the Lady Million. It, it can be worn in, I think, hot weather and springtime. Okay. And the price I think is not as much as the Lady Million absolutely Oh, but this is pretty uh, lesser known sort of a flanker. So you can give it to as a gift, and the uh, bottle is quite interesting as well. Okay. So this is called Oh My Oh by Lady Million by Akora One. Next is going to be Givenchy. As you can see, beautiful bottle. This is called very irresistible, and I think it's the EDT version for women. Pink bottle, very nice. Okay. This one all is sprayed on the paper. This is very fresh. This is very floral, uh, jasmine, and I think some sort of fruits like lychee or something. You know the summer fruits. I cannot pinpoint which one it is. A very fresh, uh, mild, like David of Cool Water. Uh, if you know that line for women, they have a uh, sea rose that kind of fragrance but I think it's a um, good lasting power for a fresh fragrance you can definitely give it a try very irresistible by Givenchy for women EDT <coughs> I'm going quickly because uh, as you can see customers coming in so uh, I want to finish the video right <laughs> so hopefully uh, you check them out all right and you can find them all at Study Enterprise and they have a lot more new collection I cannot show everything at one episode but you can have, you're always welcome uh, to come here Police Plaza Gulshan Hatiji level one Study Enterprise next is House of Clinic this is Clinic Happy, but this is a flanker. This is called Clinic Happy Heart. It's for women as well. This fragrance is very fresh. This is also very fresh, but it smells like lotus, like this kind of florals, you know, like pink flowers. I think maybe um, some sort of rose is there as well. But it's very fresh, floral women, uh, like young ladies would love this. This is very young sort of a fragrance, okay? So summer days, casual usage every day. And it's very inexpensive as well. See, but these are not very expensive, right, Clinic? Um, not expensive. Like it's affordable budget. Budget affordable. version, you can say, right? Like at like four thousand. Okay, so way below forty dollars. Okay, forty. Bucks. Yeah. So there you go. So that's clinic happy heart, and that's hundred ml by the way. So next one is all gonna be men's fragrance. Okay, and I picked a couple of them are I haven't reviewed before. As you can see, this Hugo Boss, and this is very well known, popular at once. It's called Hugo Boss Orange, or or Orange in French. So Hugo Boss has a lot of fragrances. If you see even their collection, they have the most number of Hugo Bosses here. Like so many Calvin Klein, Hugo Boss, Lacoste has a lot of fragrances. So Hugo Boss Orange, the most important thing is there's no orange note in this officially. This more apple, vanilla, and a little bit peppery, fresh, uplifting. But the problem with this, many people say, the lasting power is a little bit not be small. But the smell is really nice. I tell you, like let me freshly spray it. Spray it. This smells really uplifting. This is very fresh, summery, uh, fruity. Uh, you know, think of friends, you know, gathering, sports, gym, out of the shower, work. You know, if you stay inside the office zone, air conditioning, this is gonna last easily three to four hours, but you're not gonna get more push than that, but you have to reapply. But it's relatively inexpensive. And I think for what it is, I think Hugo Boss Orange is a very nice uh, fragrance for people who are on budget and students. If you want to start your game, this is a good starting point. Hugo Boss Orange, very fresh, uplifting fragrance, fruity. Dominant one, apple. Next one, we're gonna go as Burberry. This fragrance no one talks about anymore, Burberry Weekend. 
for men. Very simplistic bottle here. Uh, this fragrance is uh, kind of like a, a not much fancy bottle going on here, okay? But the fragrance is kind of nice. It has some freshness. It smells like actually weekend scent. It's very casual and it's not very expensive as well. And I think this is 75 ml or 100 ml. This is 100, 100. 100 ml, but the bottle looks very small. So this fragrance is fresh, crisp, bit of woody and uh, peppery element. I think some pepper, a little bit pepper going on. Let me respray this. Remind me of. So I skip by spraying as much as I want. Mm. This is very uplifting. I'm not sure it's pepper, but it's very fresh, watery, like a natural, kind of like green side as well. You can definitely try it every weekend. It's a casual weekend Friday side. Okay. I'm liking it. It's not a masterpiece, but it's a very good casual scent. Next one is my favorite today. This one I, I like more than anything else today. I tried it's in the middle, but this is Lanvin. Lanvin, I think it's called Lanvin. People say Lanvin or Lanvin, I don't know, but Lanvin, this is a long sport. Very beautiful bottle, uh, simplistic, but I really like the stopper here. It has a cap. This one, I think, remember, Jeremy talked about it first time in the community, and this is very fresh, citrus, zingy, sweet, mild sweet, and it's very unique. I cannot describe it quite. It doesn't smell like anything else out there in the market. So if you're looking for discontinued gem, this is right here. I might take it, you might not find it, but I might take it. It's very nice, good for gym, uh, school, college, office. Uh, first thing in the morning, uh, you can spray this. It's really gonna uplift your mood. Summer scent through and through, okay? Long been long, sport. Very nice fragrance. If I take it, I'll do full on review, okay? <clears throat> Next one is a fragrance I always saw here, but I never really uh, opened and checked. It's uh, from House of Burberry. And Burberry, I have Burberry Brick Rhythm. This is Burberry Brick Rhythm Intense, intense version of it. So you guys know I love Burberry Brick Rhythm. I sold off my mobile phone to buy that one in Malaysia. It was very expensive. I uh, spent significant amount of money to get this one. So Burberry is a great house, but no one talks about it. These are very elegant British house, okay? They have a lot of bags, goods, leather products, and they are well known for their mufflers, you know, like the shawl. You know, you know they have Burberry designs. This fragrance is a little bit different than the brick. What I'm getting is hint of like a maybe mild sweet and kind of smoky incense, a little bit woody and kind of like a spicy kind of combination. This is gonna be good for summer. I mean, sorry, early days of winter. It's not very strong, it's lighter. It's not as incense or smoky, but it's inoffensive, but very masculine, okay? People are gonna find it sexy. Burberry brick rhythm, intense. Next one, we have four left. Next one is the fragrance people are halfway. You know, like we got huge hate in fragrance. Uh, I think I know the reason why. This is called Polo Red Rush. So this fragrance, why did it get so much hate? I think main thing is people did not appreciate the longevity. This one is not known to be a, like a whole line. Polo Red, Red Intense, Red Extreme. This one, none of them are these mode projectors or uh, long lasting. But the thing is, this is very uplifting, but sort of crisp mint, apple. And I think, believe, a little bit of chocolate somewhere there, but not really that much, not that much coffee, but it's a very fresh fragrance. You know, if you like fresh, uh, mild fragrance, uh, if you can find for a good deal, definitely worth checking out. It's kind of like cooling kind of fragrance. You know, it's for cooling purpose. It's kind of like cologne sort of fashion, but imagine you put this fragrance in the fridge. It cools down a little bit and you spray on yourself. That's what you get. Polo Red Rush, not bad at all. It has some zingy opening and the bottle is quite nice, it's 125 ml. All right, so that's Polo Red Rush. Next is another discontinued gem. I saw this review first time in Mark's channel from the house of Calvin Klein. As you can see, many of you will not recognize this bottle. It's huge. It's almost like a Zippo uh, lighter, but the bottle is very, very pretty, wide. Very wide and very nice bottle. I really like it. It looks very cool. It's like simplistic, but elegant, you know? Very simple, they are not trying to do too much. So this fragrance, the best thing about it is, it's, people say similar to Fahrenheit. When I smell it, I see the resemblance, but it has a little bit more than Fahrenheit. You know, like Fahrenheit is a beast more petroleum, leather, florals. This, you're gonna get the violets, but you're gonna get a lot more grapefruit. I get a lot of grapefruit in this. Initial blast is just great. Okay, this fragrance. It's not very expensive also. If you find it somewhere, give it a try. This is really uplifting. Hey, remember, uh, Aqua Fahrenheit, that and this has similar sort of opening. The fresh violets, it's something different, casual. Let's say, uh, if you're looking for a good office scent like that is safe, very masculine, different, you can definitely try it. It's almost even the Xenia of Uma as well, all right? Okay, so we have two left. Uh, it's gonna be 
Givenchy again. Givenchy is called Blue Level, I think, right? Givenchy poured on Blue Level, right? So these bottles you will not see at many places anymore. I think they have gone through one reformulation, okay? So before this, even this one was not known to be a beast. The red one was. So this one is clean, very clean. It's very subtle. It's like it's, it's like a skin scent sort of from the very beginning. Subtle. It's yeah. very subtle, but what's nice about this fragrance is like let me spray one once again. It's like mild sweet. It's like mild sweet. It's it's something that people easily will like. It's built to love. It's like close to your skin. If you like safe fragrances out of shower, fresh, blue, uh, sunny day, nothing masterpiece as well, but something subtle, nice, work at home. You know, spend some time with your kids. Blue label will be a good choice, but one downside is the performance of projection. It's not huge sillage. This is remember indoor scent. Okay. So you can get it for like if you want a discontinued fragrance, you can collect it. They also have the Givenchy Porum, the Mirum Body. The last but not least, let me finish it with the Bang. This fragrance I think I showed you once. I never reviewed it because this at this point it's a <laughs> little bit expensive, but because it's brand new, YSL YEDP. So much hype on this fragrance and so much love. Reason is first of all, this fragrance has bees more longevity. If you're looking for longevity and projection. This fragrance is the one that you want. It's fresh, clean, something like YSL Y, but it's a lot more stronger. It's really EDB. So when you sniff it, you get like a very nice sort of a fruity vibe. I'm not sure it's a melon, apple, whatever it is. It smells really, really darn good. And it's kind of like not very creative. It's kind of on the synthetic side, but it's good synthetic. Like if you like your Sauvage, you're gonna definitely love it. But it's different than your Sauvage. And longevity is easily eight to 10 hours plus. So check out YSL YDP, very nice bottle as well, very beautiful bottle and I think this is something that's selling a lot at this moment in the world. So basically that's all for today, thanks a lot Steve Bhai for giving me time no problem. and uh, we have actually like those who are following me in Bangladesh, Steve Bhai has brought some fragrance oils imported from USA and they are sort of sorting it out right now so I couldn't show you today but maybe I'll show you uh, tomorrow or tonight at uh, my, in my page. Very soon we will publish. Yeah, so very soon uh, they will actually sell it, start selling it. You will be finding this week, I think. And I will post, Star Enterprise. post soon. So, Star, in Star Enterprise will post the link of the fragrance oil with the price. They have going to be 3 ml, 6 ml, and 12 ml. Okay, so the price will vary depending on what the, the fragrance brand. oils are. Yeah. Okay, so basically you're going to get. I will come and do one more review, but I have done reviewing Goodfellas fragrance in Bangladesh, just for Bangladesh. So if you want to check, you can join my page. And those are really good oils, by the way, good quality oils. That's it, guys, for now. Take care, and thanks for watching, and thanks, Steve. Bye. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.